So hold on, what does it mean DLC dolls? Prologue? Museum? Oh shit, okay. Okay, chat, we're in business. the damn window open so, so cold. man baby going freeze to death bro oh shit some strong ass heating more warm, more happy. oh you are you talk more warm more happy um sure I guess Maybe we gotta turn on all the lights. I got time for a tea party, dude. Okay. Yeah, I legit thought. Okay, I guess we got we got more stuff to do. All right. How do we turn that on? No, oh, sure, now it's a regular climb. <laughs> That's not tall enough. Oh! You don't like how real the baby's breathing is? <laughs> okay, I guess we go left first. This is not the same house. I mean, this is a prologue, so, you know, this must have been before the events, of course, of uh, the main game. You thought it? Oh, dude, our mom is freezing to death, bro. Help, please. I got you. Please help. Stand up. Oh, come on. I don't think we can bring the chair over. We can probably just climb up here. 
Where'd the mom go? I, you know, the mom was here and then she wasn't. <laughs> cold. So, so cold. Um. There we go. What's up, buddy? Happy, please. More happy. The radio? Perhaps? It's making noises, so I'm assuming that's it, yeah? Oh, but I can't move it over the carpet. Okay, well, excuse the fuck out of you. Okay, uh, kid, hurry the fuck up. Uh, it was one of those shadow things running around. Um, wait, oh, it's down here. Yeah, I just... When, uh, I was over here and it was kind of the corner of my eye just came fucking running through. <laughs> okay, so before we go either up or down, I kind of want to explore the rest of this floor. in a completely made up language. Okay. You can fuck right off. I couldn't even tell that it was moving! Okay, so we still have both of the dolls? Nice. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Skateboarding squirrel, let's go. Okay, so we have three dolls. It is a beaver, you're right. Who the fuck is sniffing me out, man? No thanks. Are you going to, uh... You just gonna chill?
No, no, why are you swinging all the way open, man? I think I hear it walking around. Okay, we need a chair or something. Why would I leave my hiding spot? Why not? That's the better question. <laughs> Give you <me> anxiety. <laughs> oh, it's open. Okay, never mind. Hey, it's dead. Daddy, 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 hurry. I saw something scurry. See, this is why I'm the one playing the horror dance. <laughs> Fuck right off, buddy. Dude, the music is making me tense up a little bit. Like, I can't tell if shit's close to me or not, or if I need to hide, but like, the music is just... A ticket? This is an aeroplane ticket, chat. Ooh, hold on a minute. I can't go. Oh. Aha! Kid, shut the fuck up. I probably missed one in the, uh, dinner, or dinner, in the, in the dinner, in the, uh, dining room. I didn't spend much time in that place. Oh, hello! What's poppin'? Ah, uh, what the, f the <laughs> Wait a minute! Hold on! Th that looked like it led outside, and then it just like, our room popped into existence. Alright, well, like any good horror game chat, it's time to go in the basement.
That scared the shit out of you? What, the uh, shadow figure? You know... Wait, are we alive? Um... Uh... A game? Are we... I guess load from last checkpoint. Oh no, f are you kidding me? Don't tell me we have to gather all those pages again, dude. Oh, I'm about three shades of mad right now. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that, that's kind of a... That sucks. Oh no, okay, so once we have the pages, we have them. Cool. So yeah, because they're collectibles, once you have them, you have them. Okay. Nice. So I'm gonna just double check again. If the one on top of here is gone, then... Nice. Okay, cool. I can just go downstairs now. Is the light temporary? Let me see. Oh. Oh, I see what happened. I see what probably... What probably happened. It bugged out. We probably got grabbed right at the same time as we flipped the lights on. Oh, that was it? Oh, hell no! Okay, I need to activate that. What's the difference between a properly dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? Man, <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, so I need to run over to the light, and then I need to drag something over there. Get up, get up, get up, get up.
Oh, there's a light switch right here, too. Oh, here's a stool. Got you, buddy. Okay. So now we just have to go upstairs. We did the 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 base floor. We did the, uh, basement. So yeah, all we got left is, uh... Upstairs. Kid sounds like he's got a million boogers in his nose. Oh, you can't shut it all the way. I'm fortunate, dude. What is this? Oh, that's just part of the structure. That's kind of rude. I'm trying to see if there's another, uh, drawing around here. Doesn't really seem like it. It seems like we could have gone downstairs as well, but... Oh, fucking rip, bro! <laughs> oh? I think this was the door that was locked earlier. Um, so we heard the voices of our mom and uh, father, and as we crawled through the vent, we saw the white images, the white imprints of our parents, and it looked like the father had his hand raised, and the mom was kind of on the ground.
packing stuff up. Hey, we can- Hey, there you are, buddy! Oh, wait a minute. Back, what's the deal? So, we finished the game, uh, as you saw. Now we're on the prologue. Which I'm assuming is the DLC? I- I'm not sure. I don't know if- I don't know what this is. In terms of, uh... Game, but this is the prologue. So, I'm assuming it's supposed to show us what led to the events of the game. We're collecting these dolls. And as we're running through the house, getting the, uh... So my assumption was right. Okay, so the prologue was the DLC because it mentioned the DLC dolls. I'm assuming those were the dolls. Sweet. It was a neat little game. Different perspective on things. You don't really get to play as a toddler that often. Um, let me see. There was the museum. Let me see. These are usually pretty cool. You just kind of get to explore different assets and things sometimes. But let's check it out real quick. And then uh, I'm going to take a six minute break. Let the suicide of Rachel Foster finish downloading, and then we'll play that. Hey, and welcome to Teddy's grand, uh, I mean, the museum of Among the Sleep. Has it really Go been on. three hours? Take yes, sir. Around. Okay, so these are just the various assets and whatnot. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. God, that is loud. Jesus. Okay, hold on a minute, chat. I'm gonna need you to, like, shut the fuck up. Cause you're loud. <laughs> that is like way different than the actual game though. Like, the, what we're seeing in the concert art here, it almost seems like an entirely different game. I wish you could, like, zoom in or something and actually read the stuff, but... Yeah, this is, like, completely different. Look at that tabby little motherfucker. The silver side of Rachel's foster <laughs> What? Yeah, the, the, the fucking thing always looks so weird, like the textures. The texture thing, it, <laughs> they always look so weird. I am cute. <laughs> it was right there at the top. I'm cute.
these are kind of neat. I mean, th this is now this is exactly well, not exactly, but this is more like what we actually played. You know, Cicada, I don't think that's quite it, but that would be a wild theory. That would make, actually, for an interesting game. Honestly. Or even like a, like a movie or something. Oh, shit. Nice. Game theorists in a nutshell. That's right. It's just a theory. A game theory. Oh. Why are we hearing a plane, dude? I mean, we saw a plane ticket. I can't. Don't. Did you know that you can collect hidden drawings throughout the game? Are these all the ones we collected? If you do. They will appear here, in this room. Oh. And this will be unlocked. There Dude. might even be a reward if you can find them all. With this, we can deduce the year is set in 19 Mumble. And that is actually canonically the third game in the series, but hey, that's just the <laughs> from the thing you sent me. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, unless we're just like missing one, but. I'm actually curious. We can check the achievements, I suppose, but. Come on. Oh, go, what, oh, what, ah! The prologue was added as a free DLC a couple of months after release of the game. It was made in collaboration with some of our fans. Huh. And made to elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship that the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough, and neither of the parents handled it well. Yep. That is what I guessed. Whee! Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, you're home! The team wanted to start with introducing the character of the mother, as well as the mechanics of the game. Starting with the kid's birthday was a way to both introduce Teddy in the form of a gift and showing how old the kid is. Cool. When night falls over the home is when you really start seeing the ways in which the child perceives reality while scared. A large yep. part of the game is based on how children see and interpret what's happening around them. The playground. There's something walking around here, but you never see it. The passive threat keeps you on your toes, and at the same time, creates the illusion that you might be safe for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
This is cool, dude. I like when game developers do shit like this. This is the forested home. It's a crumbling home that's slowly rotting away into the water and trees. The house here is a symbol of the family and home falling apart. The bloated creature inhabiting it is how the kid sees his mother when she's drinking and full of sorrow. I like shit like this. Oh. Where are you glowing? Oh, right, when oh, we're holding it. There you have it. Me. Or old me. As now I'm just a floaty version in your memory. What the course. fuck? Also, here are all the characters in Among the Sleep, old and new. Some are not used, and some are hard to see because of the various tricks and lighting we did to obfuscate them. Yeah, I... What in tarnation is this fucking thing, dude? What is this? De Teddy gun? <laughs> Excuse me? One idea for Teddy was that he could equip items that granted him abilities. Some of these were a dragon mask that made him breathe fire, a sword he could fight with, a mage's head that gave him spell and a wristband. Great strength. Dude! Please make this game! Hold on, let me go here first. What worlds did these rejected creatures inhabit? Oh, that's just sick. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a horror game. It could just be a dark fantasy adventure. There's plenty of horror-themed games that have that are action-packed. I mean, look at Doom. Dark Souls. It wouldn't be a straight-up, you know, walking simulator horror game like this, but... Oh, we're going out. Hold on. We really connected here, you know? A bit of a breather between the various bad, nightmarish worlds we went to. Also, I was able to talk a lot here. As elsewhere, the developers were concerned about keeping the tension up and didn't want me to say too many things. Also, I kind of get quiet when scared, so it's okay and all. But I liked best the times we had to catch up. You know, it really goes to show how much care some developers put in their game. When even for something like this, that's just kind of meant to show you the behind the scenes of the game, they put time and effort into sound design and atmosphere and things like that. Originally, the chase for the mom was a MacGuffin. You didn't 
not really find her, and the monsters used her to lure you further into the dreamlands. And we struggled for some time to make sense of this story, especially the playtesters were confused as the story <laughs> ended without you seeing your mom again. Yeah, that would have been a bit weird. Mom being the first character introduced, and then, uh... This is the reveal. This is where you see your mother for what she is, and the player gets to connect the various monsters and sights through the game. Whoa, um, uh, what? Hey, Teddy, you got uh, an explanation for this or? game If I'm supposed to crawl through this I Ah uh... <laughs> um... was tasty.
What the fuck, dude? Okay, uh, well that was definitely something. Care to fucking explain? Now here is something truly special. Wanna see what the game almost was at some point? This is an old version of the story's conclusion, and it's been something we have not shown anybody except a few testers in the early days. You might say here, I got to have more fun than in the original ending. <laughs> Come in and see. So this is why the teddy bear was so fucking creepy, because I guess in one of the original endings, he was just outright gonna fucking eat you, bro. Originally, the chase for the mom was a MacGuffin. You did not really find her, and the monsters used her to lure you further into the dreamlands. And we struggled for some time to make sense of this story, especially the playtesters were confused as the story ended without you seeing your mom again. I like how there's like little secrets and stuff, even in something like this. That's really cool. Oh, hey! That just leads back here. Which, coincidentally, is exactly... No, this is... Is this the... This would be the area. Alright. But yeah, this was a cool little game. I really liked it. Yeah, this was fun. It was a good game. Wasn't expecting to really like it, but, uh... Yeah, sweet. All right.